drugs, Britain's streets of vice visits Smack Alley in half an hour. Here on BBC One. Going to the pawn shop to redeem some jewellery. Had a little bit of work over the weekend. I filled a few skips. Last week on Skint, Tom Griffin got some jewellery out of the pawnbroker. Oh he was his girlfriend's hero. Feel better now. Ten times better. Tom and Tara live in Birmingham. Like any other city, if you've got money, there's plenty to spend it on. But without money, what do you do? Especially if you're one of the seven million people in Britain's cash economy with no access to bank or car credit, and you're skint. There's been a bit of bother at the Griffins. They've had a visit from the police who were looking for someone, who, it turned out, wasn't in the house. You know what I mean? They've come in looking for f***ing Osama Bin Laden. I've got up from here, and I've stood up like this, going, what the hell's going on? I'm getting front confronted here by three very large officers in full NATO gear, shields, helmets, the lot, up like this. Everyone, literally, pinning people down, telling them what they can and can't do. I'm going, hey, there's no need for this. I'm going this way into the officers. The officers backed off. Tara was standing here at the time. Yeah, they were cuffing you. Yeah. And I was trying to stop them cuffing Tara. I'm saying there's no need for this. Watch your arm. That's right, I was saying, watch your arm. Yeah. They were letting go of Tara at the moment, come out here onto the landing. I turned round and I said, what the f***ing hell's going on? We can't broadcast what Tom's saying here. Pulled Dave here and literally dumped right there on that spot. See here, where that one bit there sits up, that was the mark that was on my back. The upshot is Tom and Tara have been charged with assaulting the police. I'm due in court for something I'd, you know what I mean? I never hit anybody. I never got a bloody chance to. I try it. I'm not the best of people, but I'm not the bloody worst either. Things are a bit bumpy for Bob the busker. Last week, he pawned his keyboard to make ends meet. Now he's got it back, but no one can hear him. This is the back of beyond. This is the pits, as far as pitches are concerned. At this time of the week, this is the pits. There's just nobody coming anywhere near me. I could have done with being a bit louder in this particular position because the acoustics are such that the wind just takes it everywhere. You know, maybe it's just me, but I, I don't know. I think I was doing reasonably well until uh, it's just not reflecting financially, that's all. Bob's on the way to his local buyback store. I'm going to have a complete change of plan. I'm going to go back to the guitar. I'm going to run a mains PA. That should solve all the amplification problems. If you want to raise money quickly, they'll buy your stuff from you and give you 28 days to redeem it at a much higher price. Mary Daly runs the store. I needed 60, but no doubt you're not going to give me all that. So I'll just have whatever you, you, you're I'll, offering. I'll do the best for you. Uh, a month to pay it back. What do you need the money for? Uh, to MLT my car. Last time Bob brought his keyboard in, it was to put it on buyback. Hi, Mary. You all right, love? Hi. Um, and what are you doing with this today? Buyback? No, I actually want to sell it. Or, 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 or swap it or something. Um, what I need is I need an electric guitar uh, and a decent PA system, preferably right. a combo. Okay. Round about the hundred. You sure you want to sell it? No, but I don't want this to sell it. But I'm going to have to. <laughs> Listen, how can you do this right when that should be done? For the Griffins. 
Family life goes on whilst they wait for their court appearance. Tara's got their four children to look after. The eldest is Becky, aged 12. It's a regular thing on Tuesdays. See ya. Bye. She's going to hold her dad's place in the gyro queue. Tom hasn't worked for 18 months. Miss going to the pub after work with the boys, being able to go out the weekend, not having to worry about bloody money, always having money the weekend, being, you know, not having to borrow a tenner or here or there, you know, because the money's regular. You're getting double what you get on the bloody social and things like that, so... Two years ago, it was nice because, like Tom, like, Tom was working and that, and then we had a little bit of money coming for her. Shut that door up behind me, right, because I've got no keys or nothing. See you later. Uh, See ya. What, do you, get, do you get all the benefits in one go? Today she does, yeah. So it, it allows her to go and get the kids clothes and whatnot because of the family allowance. Should I get it all out, yeah? The family are going to need the money even more soon. Tara's expecting their fifth child. There's the movie basket Linda bought me. My bag's ready for him. Can't wait till that's over and done with. Is that your hospital bag? Yeah, yeah, it's ready to go. Got everything in there. Baby grows, clothes, set of clothes for him as well. This is what, the fifth? Fifth baby I've got now. So does, it, yeah. does the fear go away? Or? No, man, scary. <laughs> scary ain't the word, man. I can't wait to have it, though. Once it's out, man, and in there, that's the best place. Can hear it screaming and scaling and doing all his business, do you know what I mean? But from there, while it's in here, I can't do nothing, you know what I mean? I can't do nothing. I want to hope so. I don't want no more. I didn't want this. I, well, I do want this one, but at the time I was shocked. Because five years is a long time to go without a child. Do you know what I mean? I thought all my nappy days was over. There's a lot there I like, but they're I don't not know too dear. What you're looking for, <laughs> oh, you that's see. Nice. It's too dear. It is nice, but it's £300, Bob. <laughs> Bob wants to move up from busking to pub entertaining. So he needs the best kit his money can buy. On that What's, that's not that Let's expensive, is it? But there's no ticket on it. But okay, what make is that one, Bob? It's a session. So that'll be pretty. In they're, they're sort of all the specials. They're not. That'll probably be in the region of about sixty nine ninety five. If that's in decent condition. Okay. Then we can maybe argue something over the price a okay. little bit. So you we need might an get amp somewhere. and a guitar. I need yeah, and that looks like the. The beast. I'd, actually, what I'd like to do is set the whole thing up. I'll yeah. tell you what, I'll take that and you say. <laughs> oh, thanks a bunch. <laughs> cool. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. Tom's got the gyro. What do you think your dad's buying in the, in the shop? He's normal. Something like beer, facts, visitors, and all that. And sometimes the paper. Tom, what's your first purchase been? Some sugar puffs, because them two haven't had their breakfast yet. The other two have had breakfast and gone to school, but these two haven't. So I'll go back now and give them their breakfast, then come into town. So no beers yet? No, <laughs> no. More important things to do than have a beer. But I will be having one later. You can get two bowls done, one for you, one for him. OK. All right, cos once you've had them, we're off, Skirt. The only thing I haven't got is the electric, I forgot to take the card. All right. There's your book, your cards, ten fags and your money. Right. She's got about £400 all told today, maybe a little bit more. She gets £195 weekly and every month she gets her family allowance, which is £198. No, it's nice on, on these weeks, though, when they do get the family allowance, because then you can work with it, you know what I mean? When it was weekly, on the family allowance, you don't see it. It's not, it's not there. It's just like every week's money.
actually. We'd have to. It's it's the way it's mounted and situated. It's on the wrong places. Oh dear. Outside the buyback store, Vernon Burgess sells the big issue. He makes 70 pence on every sale. And one bloke gave me, if it hasn't lost, a fiver. If I haven't lost it, I think, I know, I've got it. Bloke gave me a fiver. 20, 21, 22. So I 24 quid. How long have I been here? Two hours. Buy that. So that's 12.50 an hour. And I was keep thinking to myself, well, what, I won't get that anywhere in the country. Grab the biggest issue off me and set me free. And you're happy with it, yeah? Yeah, it's yeah, it'll do. It's going to do the job, is it? it? It'll do. Right, 150. 120. All you right. happy with that? Yeah. Right, well, so what are we doing about the guitar? 65? Yeah, done deal. 65. Do you think Robert will be back soon, Mary? Yes, no doubt. I'll see him uh, next week sometime. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> With his guitar in his hand. Hopefully I'll be, uh, I'll be looking for a keyboard again in the fairly near future. What do you to, say? Uh, <laughs> He'll be back to buy his keyboard at the end of the week. Yeah. <laughs> he got £120 for his keyboard. He's paying much more for his new kit. He's going to need a pub gig soon. Right. We'll leave and we'll see you. OK, then I'll see you next week. Yep. <laughs> right, well. <laughs> <laughs> Vernon's always looking for ways to make more money. There's this shop over here and he just thinks for 50p. And I'm going to buy a couple because I sell them for £2 each. And, uh, I was noticing that they're 50 pence each. But the labels actually say 12 99 on them. So you'd probably get two or three, maybe a fiver if you was looking. But you'd make something when you was really brassic if survival, really. Yeah, that one, I ain't got one of them colours. That one. Where'd you sell them? To uh, my mate's mum or neighbour's husband or wife. She bought one of them tops off me the other night. And I bought a big finger milk and a bag of sugar. A big finger milk and a bag of sugar. Well, look, if I never had that top right ball for 50, I wouldn't have had my big finger milk and my bag of sugar, and we would have been sitting there without a cup of tea or whatever. On the other side of Birmingham is the biggest buyback store in the world. People are trading stuff for ready cash constantly here. They have 28 days to buy it back, or the shop will sell it at a profit. One Goodman's TV combi. This television combi um, video came in uh, with the remote complete. Uh, it's over by about a week, over which it's due 18. Uh, came in at £35. So it cost us £35. It'll go out on display for around about 100, 120. But then you get other things like that, which are not exactly the nicest item in the world. Definitely needs a lot of cleaning up before we can sell it. It's incomplete, so it's not really worth uh, a great deal other than maybe a tenner. It's actually shifted. How much did you buy that one for? Uh, five pounds, so double the money straight away. So it's not that bad. How much are you looking for? About 35. 35, yeah. That's good to me. Yeah, I'll do 35 on that for you, no problem. Thanks. Business is running smoothly on the shop floor, but in the office, the owner, John Walker, is sorting out a bounced chair. You've got a little problem here. Right, OK, well, I'm, I'm trying to help. I'm not interested in the details. Oh. I want the bank to do what they're supposed to do and honour a cheque that's been drawn in, in the correct manner well, against the card. The, because of the circumstances, you will, you will have to write in to us. But why should I be doing your job? I've done everything in, in accordance. I you should be dealing with your customer. <laughs> Banks will try and get out of paying anything. and. Uh, We've had some checks drawn on items purchased and I've just sent them back saying not drawn in accordance with check card criteria. But it isn't that. It turns out the person hasn't got enough money in his account. And if they went down the correct procedures and did ex examinations on the people that they're giving bank accounts to, they wouldn't be running into these problems. Mm -hmm. 
Nice and into there. To launch his pub entertainer career, Bob's making a demo tape. As I've always said, what I want to do is get back into the pubs. That's it. Hi, my name's Steele, and this is just a little demonstration of the sort of thing that I do. Well, Lord, it's hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way. I can't wait to look in the mirror Cause I get better looking each day It's a good mic, he's got the radio as well On the Philips, on the buyback? Yeah Ten. OK, thanks it's a lot. Yeah, so, yeah. In the sales area, some bargain hunters have spotted Bob's keyboard. They want to get it for their son. It's something that we'd like him to, to, to learn on. Because it's got know. enough to hold his interest. Yeah. I know that with it having a block of his shoulder, then he, it's compatible with his computer. Copper shirt, because I think security guard will have it. Well, I'm paying like £1.80, mm. but the security guard will give me four quid for a new shirt yeah. like that. I'm selling them three and four quid, I've been getting. Oh, that's not bad. Well, I'm, I'm having the whole laugh, the rack, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> She's getting annoyed with me, yes. You're yeah, getting bloody money. Because, like, no, no, it's 27 quid, I've got a little book in the eyes. <laughs> you know what? You can get a job in here, you could. <laughs> no. We could do with somebody like you. We need all that stock out there selling. <laughs> What do you think? I think so. Okay then, mate, but we'll, we'll put a deposit on it. And... We'll work out the weekly payment so I can pick it up for his 16th birthday. So. But that means lots of other things have got to go. See you, guys. See you, man. Okay, thanks for your help. Okay, thanks a lot, The keyboard has fetched a profit of £130. Oh, no. I just, I don't believe it. <laughs> Bob's keyboard is on here. Now it's gone. It's been, it's been sold. So we've got an empty space. I just, I really can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's quite sad actually, because I did think he would come back. As if his court appearance wasn't enough, Tom's got another problem to deal with. My son Callum got excluded from school. He's got behavioural problems. We're sorting it out. I took the other two out because I want them in all the same school together and I fell out with the headmaster. When he excluded Callum because of his behaviour, and he has got a little bit of a problem, he runs around the class disrupt, disrupting other children, destroying other children's work, running out, you know what I mean, hides on the table, makes silly noises. Straight past, go on, go on. He's just a normal child, you know, he's a bit hyper. How worried are you about the situation? I mean, does it, does it cause you a lot of grief? It does, because it's hassle. You can't do what you want to do. You've got them stuck at home. There's things you can do, there's things you can't do. You idiot, Kieran! I can't even go looking for work at the moment because of him. I have to come down here and here enough every day just to see to him and now these over the weekend. Yay! Yay! Did you like school? Did you? To be a certain stage. But I was also expelled at a very young age. What age were you? First time eight. Second time ten. Third time eleven. Fourth time fourteen. <laughs> and about fifteen suspensions in between all that. And what, what do you think, what was that about? Is that similar things? Or? No, I was off my head. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I was off my head. <laughs> I were like that. I loved school. Yeah, I'd done very well at school, to be quite honest, you know what I mean? There was never a problem in my work. But if anyone said anything to me, I'd pick a chair up and hit them with it. And that was my problem. I was a little bit of a bad boy. And I don't want him turning out like me. And he walks in as I said it. To get the pub gig, Bob needs a portable tape machine to play his demo. Uh, I was looking at the ceiling of 15 because it'd be nice if I could eat as well. Right, keep your arm that, mate. I'll just wait a second. Okay. Oh. 
Make somebody a good little slave, that will. Flying V copy. Well, it isn't actually a Flying V, but it's based on the Flying V. These are more DJ stuff than musicians, but... I see my keyboard's gone. <laughs> I didn't think she'd have much trouble selling that. Bob, I'm just going to try this. OK. It's actually belong to me. Oh, what's, well. that, what's happening is that's a bit um, dodgy, that is, the switch. Oh, right. If I can get it going for you, do you just want to take that? Um, yeah, if it's... Yeah. How, how much do you want for that? Uh, nothing. I was, it, was, it belonged to me. I've always said she's a good woman. <laughs> Bob's keyboard has a good home. Oh, I haven't got it. <laughs> well, let's see if we can play let's with the music it. now, then. Let's see if we can play that. Yeah. <laughs> Keyboard's fine, but the tape machine isn't. And his new career depends on it. I mean, it's trying. I mean, it, 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 it's, it could just be dirty. I think I'm probably going to have to take the switch out and see what I can, if I can get at it. The screwdriver's a bit big for the job. It's on this board here. If I can get into this one, we're in. Vernon lives with his 10-year-old son. I've got some of the washing up done. You can come and watch me do a bit more of it. It's absolutely loads of it. I've had the immersion out of Oh, these are the set of cups I bought this morning for a pound, one pound, 20 pence. But I, I thought, well, all six of them are there. And I thought, no, I've seen them in my book. They're 60, 1960s. They're from the 1960s, I think. And they're a certain soul of some sort, but I've seen them, them type in the book, and I thought, well, I'll have them, because one pound, 20 pence. And I thought, if we have guests, they'll do for um, guests, you know. But this, I paid 154. But like, I've got a book on British pottery marks, what I've had from somebody up there, and that's a really old one, that is. Because you can tell by the age cracking. It might be over 100 or up to 200 years old, but I've looked up meat dishes, because I've got the collector's book there. We can look them up in a bit, and you'll, see, you'll be shocked at the price of a a uh, meat dish like that, but that's beautiful, that is. It might be Queen Anne or something. It looks like Queen Anne or something to me. That um, design look, doesn't look Victorian, it looks pre-Victorian. I want to become independent and, like, have various things I can do and make an income and I'll get a business going. Something, a commodity where I'll help people, other people, and um, that people want in there, and so me and my son can make a future. That's what I'm trying to do, build a future. One step forward, two step backward. <laughs> the tape machine's working, so now it's all down to Bob. Hi, <laughs> I'm Bob. Um, what it is, um, I play music for a living, and uh, I wonder if I could play you a very sh short couple of uh, demo tracks, and if you're interested, and maybe we can get together. <laughs> That, that's what you'd get initially if you gave me a booking. Country music at its best. This is what we can expect. Uh, initially, yes, but uh, I'll shut that down for a bit. What's my chances of getting a booking or two in here? Um, Shouldn't be no problem. So. Which date then? Which, 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 this Sunday, next Sunday? This Sunday. This Sunday at three? Yeah, we could start you off this Sunday at three. Excellent, right, you're on. Sunday is, is D-Day. You wouldn't get this for 100 pound in the shop, do you know what I mean, no? And it's, it's, it's not that old, and when I've given it a wipe over, 
Some young couple's going to be happy at this, I reckon, for 30 or 40 quid. Because this costing you probably 150 or some pounds to buy. You know, it's not cheap stuff, this, ain't it? <laughs> oh, 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 they've got me into it, boys and stuff, you know. I'm selling it and collecting collectibles. I, I haven't got that mother. You know, it was pretty all OK until mother died when I was 16. And that's when I got in a spot of trouble for them three years because I'd lost my mother. I mean, this is the first time I've ever lived in any type of a settled way of life since I was 15, because I've done 17 mental institutions, six prisons, and all the problems I've had with homelessness. It's time for Tom and Tara to face justice. They are in court on the assault charges. And with Judgment Day looming for Bob, he needs another favour from Mary. Can you do me a favour, Mary? Yes. Can you lend me a jump lead? Like a jack lead? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're an angel. There's a stigma about being skint. There's a stigma about not being able to pay your bills and to... Yeah, to afford some, yeah. To afford whatever yeah. everybody else can have, you know? I mean, yeah, I when, don't I, when, when, that. I, when I saw that keyboard, the silver one, the, the, the big Yamaha, I mean, I think you were as upset as I was, maybe. Mm. To be honest, I think yeah. you, you were, you know? Oh, yeah, genuinely, yeah, because I know that you need that. Well, you did need it. I did, did yeah. The I, I, mean, I mean, I'd, know, still, I, I'd, I'd still love to have it back, you know. you know, but that's the situation. It couldn't be done. Tom and Tara are out of court. Throwing out the case, the magistrate said he was far from satisfied that the police were acting in the execution of their duty. He said, Only reasonable force can be used, and the longer I have listened to this case, the less satisfied I have become that reasonable force was used. So for once, a bit of justice come out of these courts. I ain't got to pay no fines either, so... And that's the main thing, in it? And it's Couldn't like, afford it. You know, and I hope to God that is my last time ever inside that building for any reason. Because we've both got, um, um, both got assault on from police past. Me and in the past. assault on police and numerous other things. And the last thing any of us need is one of us locked up. Especially with me with the baby. I need Thomas there, you know what I mean? I know, but... Hopefully everything just goes on the right track for us <coughs> now. You know what I mean? Starts to pan itself out and move on. Just so happy now, it's over and done with. We ain't got a hassle of all this again now, man. We can get on with our lives. Celebrate. We can get on with our lives. Come and join us. <laughs> We're having a good fight tonight. <laughs> We're Nothing having a good new. fight tonight. I'm after uh, 11 quid each for him. Well, OK. Next week on Skint, Vernon faces the ordeal of a car boot sale. So we won't get nothing, we won't get £50, £100, you don't know. And how will Bob's country music go down in an Irish pub? Where are the key, I'm gonna be.